Okay, so this is uh, Coffee with the Cast. I've got my coffee. I'm going to be asking uh, members of the cast some questions, and uh, we'll see what they have to say. All right, let's, let's turn on this tree. <coughs> Alright, so I'm here with Chris Williams, uh, who is playing Alex, as well as Scrooge, well, he's playing Alex, who is playing Scrooge, in A Christmas Carol 1933 by Frank Robinson Jr. So Chris, wel welcome to the show. Welcome to Coffee with the Cast. I'm, Thank you. Uh, so tell me a little bit of background about, about yourself, about your, your acting background. Well, I started doing theater uh, roughly 2003-2004. I was fed up with computer science and uh, went to an audition at my uh, undergrad college uh, for a student soap opera. And eventually I decided, hey, I like doing this a lot more than I like coding. So <laughs> I changed majors, uh, much to the eternal chagrin of my parents. And we met at uh, Catholic University in the MFA uh, program. You were an MFA actor. I was an MFA playwright and uh, graduated in 2012. Gosh, has it been that long? It's it has. been many a year now. Oh, no. So what, what kind of theater gets you excited? What's your favorite kind of theater? Uh, well, two kinds. Uh, I really I enjoy classical theater a lot, mm -hmm. um, uh, it, but also um, modern theater that is so old people think of it as classics, things like uh, Ibsen, that sort of thing. But okay. uh, as far as modern plays go, I really enjoy uh, magical realism. Mm -hmm. um, stuff uh, written uh, plays like uh, Sarah Rule uh, come to mind. Uh, okay, I was in a production of Eurydice that was fantastic. Um, just a lot of fun to work on because you have a lot more freedom to to explore things uh, than when you're in a box set with a you know specific time period and mm -hmm. you have you know you you have to work around the conventions of the real world. What what's uh, one of your favorite Christmas traditions? In my family was a little strange compared to what I understand, you know, in years since, is that we always, we, we opened all of our family presents on Christmas Eve. And okay, then, that is and, weird. Yeah, and then the, the, the Christmas morning presents were reserved for, for Santa Claus or for any family who hadn't made it to Christmas Eve and they would okay. come in and visit. Um, gotcha. So I really, liked, I really liked that tradition and then I found out that we were strange. <laughs> um, so I guess to uh, wrap up, what are you most excited about for this production? Uh, I, I I really have always wanted to have a chance to play Scrooge in some capacity. Um, I came close to it years ago uh, by uh, playing Marley in Jacob Marley's Christmas Carol, which is a, a tale told from Marley's perspective. But um, the, the the redemption of Scrooge is actually um, it's one of the most sort of powerful imagery in in Christmas time stories to me because. I think maybe in our world there's not a lot of belief in redemption um, mm -hmm. on, a, on a basic level. You see it a lot, and there's a lot of times where people say, well, he did this thing years ago, and no matter what has transpired since, he is always and forever tarred by that action. And I, I feel that people can be redeemed, and Scrooge is an example of it. And I've always wanted to have a chance to really dig into that on stage, and to dig on, into it on multiple levels in this show is, is really, really fantastic. Well, Chris, thank you very much for joining me with uh, Coffee with the Cast. Uh, Christmas Carol 1933 opens on December 19th, and uh, we'll be back soon with another interview with Coffee with the Cast.